Well, playing the flute is one form of art, but making these instruments is an art form in itself. Jamil Donath shows us how a Bemidji woodcrafter turned flute, making, flute maker creates music by carving. Making musical instruments is just as much of an art as playing them. Much like a musician can transform tunes into songs, woodcarver Les Sanders whittles wood into flutes. I just started building flutes for myself and then I brought it into the classroom, and then started doing some individual flute making. And while a flute is simple in appearance, the process of making one is much more complex. You can't just take a hunk of wood, drill holes in it, and expect it to play. I like working with my hands and building flutes. I play very poorly. With about 40 years of wood carving experience under his tool belt and lessons from a local flute builder, even Sanders' first flute was a flop. I built my first flute, and of course it didn't play. Sanders learned how to make split cedar flutes, custom in Native American culture, when he got private lessons from a professional flute builder from Montana that came to visit Cass Lake, where he was teaching at the time. I took his learning how to play the flute and then in the afternoons after we finished, he actually taught me how to build flutes. This is what a flute looks like in its beginning stages. These two hollow squares are called flute blanks, and they have what's called a music chamber and an air chamber, and are then glued together and sanded to be round. It's very important. These two blocks need to be together. Precision is everything when building a flute. From the sanding of the blanks to the placement and sizing of the holes. I'll draw a center line down the center of the flute. The split cedar flute traditionally has six holes and they are aligned according to a specific pattern. Once the holes are drilled, they are filed and sanded. Then a brass piece, exactly 25 thousandths of an inch, is glued on top of the flute and a bird is set on top of that and bound with leather. This allows enough air to flow through the flute to keep it in key. So whether a flutist or a flute builder, there are those who create music and those who carve it. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donneth, Lakeland News. And Sanders teaches flute building at Concordia Language Villages and is hoping to eventually get more involved in community classes. And if you have any ideas for In Focus segments, you tweet them, email us, or post them to our Facebook page. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.